The perfume and beauty business is one of the most competitive businesses globally. She's up against the big boys. Most of the bigger companies in the industry are publicly traded. When the word gets out about you, people will either come after you because they'll want to buy you, your brand, or they will replicate it. It's not for the faint of heart if you're not willing to face that risk, that risk that you could be taken out by a giant. Um, I had a, a normal life in 2006 before this all began, and then uh, the unthinkable happened. Uh, my best friend was uh, serving in the Canadian Forces, took his helmet off in a peaceful shura. He was discussing how to bring clean drinking water and health care to the families of the village. And a man who did not want to see his community have free thought or free will put a Taliban axe through my best friend's head. While I was uh, studying about Afghanistan and continuing to try to carry his mission to help him on his healing journey, I read about this man, Abdullah, in Afghanistan. And he was growing the legal orange blossom and rose to get the farmers off the illegal poppy crop, which is 90% of the world's heroin. It's destroying lives in our cities. It's in our interest to care. And the same people that attacked my best friend were knocking over his distillery. And I thought, that's it, I'm coming. Barb's story is so unique because it's genuine. Instead of it being a charity, they're actually creating a business which can employ up to 20, 30 people per micro company. Just saying, waking up one day, you know what? I'm going to challenge the system. I'm going to go out there and be disruptive. Barb, as the visionary and the owner, is totally hands-on. That quality of relationship somehow is an intangible that's embedded in the product, and that is absolutely beautiful. There's this false dichotomy out there that there is emotional capital and there is financial capital, and never the two should meet. I love it that we are blowing that paradigm out of the water. And Barb, through her journey, has educated many, many people. She has touched so many people, and everyone who meets Barb is touched. And isn't that the true measure of success? Not the amount of money in your bank account, but the impact you've had on the world. Beautiful and strong, standing